What's up, guys? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. Uh, so a lot of people are talking about October 4th, and a lot of people are unaware of what's going to take place on October 4th. I did a live stream on my second channel talking about it. But uh, for those who don't know, there's going to be a nationwide, yes, a nationwide, where every phone, every television will be, you know, shut off. Now, it doesn't say what time this will be or how long it's going to be. Um, for, I mean, for all we know, it could be for a day, a week, a couple hours, or maybe it could just be a couple seconds. But I just want to react to the news to give you guys, to keep you guys informed of what's taking place here in Babylon. A cell phone or a TV, you need to watch this video. A lot of people do not know this yet, but every single cell phone and every single TV that is in America is going to go off at the same exact time. They're going to be testing an emergency alert system and wireless emergency alert at 1120 AM on October 4th. Every single cell phone and every single TV in America is going to have this alert as long as it's powered on. And if any of your devices are turned off during this alert, you will get it when your phone turns back on. So on your TV, cell phone, or radio, the test will last about a minute long. An alert will sound, followed by a message. This is a nationwide test of the emergency alert system. The purpose of this warning is to make sure every single device in America is effective for warnings. A lot of us are going to forget this, so make sure you hit the plus button. I'll post an update closer to time. So now the question is, should we turn off our phones, our televisions for that entire day? A lot of people are coming up with the day of October 4th that just completely shutting off your phone, shutting off your television, which is a great thing. And I think that we sh we as humans should practice that from time to time. But will that happen? Will that make a difference? I don't think so. Now, some of you guys may be, you know, the, the people who are claimed to be conspiracy theorists might be like, you know, what, what's taking place? You know, what, what, what are they doing behind the scenes? Because best believe they're definitely doing things behind the scene. And I told you guys over and over again, uh, which I'm going to show you guys a clip in a little bit, which is already happening in China with the digital IDs. And I told people how you're not going to be allowed on social media uh, unless you have a digital ID. OK, this is going to be all linked to the mark of the beast. OK, now, when is this going to happen? I'm not saying it's going to happen next week, next month, next year. But in our lifetime it is going to happen. OK, where you're going to have to have the digital ID, which is tied and linked to the mark of the beast to access social media to access your phone okay uh this is why there's, there's a uh, bible verse talks about this in amos chapter 8 verse 11 to 13 saying that there's going to be a famine of the world of the, sorry a famine of the word okay a lot of people are looking for a food shortage you know you see this all the time the food shortage is coming blah blah, blah. Um, you know, every time we go to the grocery store, even when the lockdowns are out, I saw grocery stores full of food, you know, flood full, full of food. Okay. So it's not going to be a famine of bread, but there's going to be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay. These are the last days. So we got to get ready, but let's play this clips. I want to show you guys, keep you guys more informed of what's really going to take place October 4th, what the news is talking about. All right. I want you to pay close attention to, uh, what the news got to say about this. I'm, I'm going to react to it. This morning and sticking with tech this fall, every consumer cell phone will be part of a nationwide emergency alert test. FEMA and the FCC have scheduled the drill for October 4th at 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time. You can expect your cell phone to receive an alert that reads, quote, this is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed. The reason for the test is to make sure that all systems are prepared in case of a national emergency and that needs to be sent out to the public. It will be the second time that all cellular devices are tested. So off the top of the off the top, man, off the top, man, FEMA can't be trusted. OK, now if all my subscribers, I know a lot of people who subscribe to my channel. They're awakened. They already know. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think is going to take place? Is this going to be? Uh, something that's going to happen more often because that's what I believe. I don't think this is going to be a one time thing that's never going to happen again. You know, they're going to give you out, you know, give out alerts to these cell phone devices, you know, when they push out their agendas, propaganda, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, y'all let me know. But on the right or on my on my right, on your left, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. OK, so as you guys see, I was talking about this since 2019. If you're not taking the mark of the beast, if you're not fall, bowing down to the beast, the beast being Satan, you're going to be thrown in these camps, okay? Uh, there is nothing new under the sun, okay? We're, you're, we're going to have to be facing, you know, persecution for our faith in Christ, you know, our testimonies. And because we're not, like I said, we're not going to bow down to the Satan. And this is what's going to happen. That's why I'm letting you guys know you can't trust FEMA. I'm going to let you know this right now. 
Um, just, you know, remember, be wise as a serpent and to be harmless as a dove. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Now, let's talk about this. Let's, let's react to some content that's also linked to the mark of the beast to keep you guys informed, to keep you guys awakened. Because like I said, Satan's devices is being spread like a wildfire in these last days. And also, I'm hearing, you know, rumors of Taiwan, uh, Taiwan uh, wars coming on. So we'll see. 2024 is going to be very, very interesting, especially with uh, candidates, you know, selection, you know, being rolled out. So it's going to be very entertaining and interesting what's going to happen over here in America because they're turning America to a third world country. So the latest in this dystopian outrage that is now all of China apparently is I once again cannot buy food. A couple days ago, my uncle and my cousin helped me get a cell phone that is linked to a Chinese bank card so that I could buy anything. But now, apparently, it has been flagged for some reason, and I have to pass facial recognition identity verification, which is insane, because all I want to do is just spend my gift card balance on this debit card. So what the situation with that lady went through, it reminds me of the mark of the beast and how the Bible says that you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark. And, you know, you could easily say, well, Mark, you know, that's not in America because I believe the, the situation she was going through is in China. And that type of stuff has been in China for a while now. And um, I say that you would be a fool to think that that's not coming to America and America is in a perfect, stable place the way it is. You know, and yes, as the day I'm making this video, we could go to the store and buy and sell and, you know, and whatnot, you know. But we just have to, you know, acknowledge the fact that this is going to come in America. Now, we don't know when. We don't know if it's five years from now, 10 years from now, or maybe even next year. We don't we don't know. But we have to prepare for this to come. And, you know, I know that this video could kind of come off as fear mongering and stuff like that, which is not I'm just being a watchman and I'm being a messenger to let you guys know that, you know, through all this chaos and, you know, all this fear that they're pushing and confusion. OK, when you have your faith firm on Christ, there's nothing that can shake you, nothing that can move you. So when they're doing these type of things like you can't go into the store, you can't work a job. OK, you can't go here or there. You can't travel unless you have a mark on your forehead or in your hand. You know, uh, we have a faith in Christ that, you know, we're preserved. You know, God does not say to put our protection in or put our trust in, you know, money or material things or houses or cars or land. Okay, our trust and our protection is in him, is in the most high. So when this all this chaos starts to happen, don't fold because best believe that there's angels that protect you in the spiritual realm and also your heavenly father is gonna provide you food to eat. Just like how the birds and the animals, you know, they don't have to work a job, they don't have to put food in their refrigerator or in their freezer, you know, and, and stuff like that. But God so feeds them. So you have to have that same faith, and that faith is comes from a faith of the mustard seed, okay? So when this stuff starts to happen, guys, don't fold. Don't bow down to the beast, okay? Don't take the mark, you know? And yes, you know, you're not going to be able to access social media. It's not just going to the grocery stores if you don't have the digital ID. You're not going to be able to, you know, fit in with society or, or quote-unquote fit in with society, the norm, okay? And this, like I said, we have to p prepare mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically for this time to come because this is going to happen in our lifetime. I mean, we could see what happened in 2020 when they told us if you didn't get s s certain things, you're going to lose your job. You can't travel certain places, okay? You know, you were like the outcast in society. So, you know, that's, what's, that's, what, that's what Satan wants to push out because Satan, according to the Bible, he is the god of this world, Okay, now he's not the God of all gods, but the Most High God, the God of Israel, he allowed him to be the God of this world because it's just a test. Okay, are people going to choose him? Are people going to choose Satan, the devil, and his army? Or are people going to choose the Most High? Are people going to choose Jesus? You know, are people going to choose, you know, Yeshua? So I feel like this is the times we're coming in and, you know, our faith has to be stronger than ever, bro. Like, for real, that spirit of fear, the spirit of torment, the spirit of confusion, okay, the demonic strongholds we, we, we may battle with or the unclean spirits, we have to cast that out, man, prayer and fasting. Like, as these last days, that has to be our number one priority, you know, gain our spirit right, you know, make sure that our fruits are in check. This video you're about to watch right here is just proof that it's ready here. It's just not mandatory, but check this out, man.
Even she knows this is crazy. Even though, like, this is me casually walking to get my groceries, but it's not as casual as it might seem. Let me show you what I mean by that. I got everything that I needed. I got my fruit. I got my yogurt, mint tea, and now it's time to pay. Well, because we're in Silicon Valley, I'm not going to pay with my credit card. I am going to pay with my palm. The thing is, there's this new technology that lets you connect your credit card and your ID to your palm so that you don't have to carry any credit cards with you anymore. You don't even have to have your phone with you. This is my total. This is my palm. This is me scanning it. Ta-da! Ta-da! And I would later be able to see my purchases in my Amazon account. Do you think it's convenient or just another? So I told people that they're going to promote this at, in some type of form of entertainment. They're going to make this cool to get, okay? Because um, that video that I just showed you guys, she made it kind of seem like it was cool, convenient. And it may be convenient, but the Bible warns us that, you know, things of not be able to buy, you know, your right hand, your your, your forehead. So some of that type of stuff, it shouldn't be entertainment, shouldn't even be thought of getting, but hey, Satan is a God of this world and people are going to follow him because they don't follow Christ. Okay, you either follow God or you follow Satan. There's no in-between. And the Bible even says that you can't serve two masters. So if people, if someone's not following Christ, okay, that means they're following the devil. And even whether they want they want to or not, that's just the truth. And that's a harsh truth that people just have a hard time accepting. But the cash of society is here and all the signs, with all the signs that, that are the market of the beast is coming, Okay, we see it. We see it all, but people are still like asleep. Okay, the strong delusion is on many because they've received not the love of the truth.